Here is one thing we did to make our Revit operation meaningfully better. Of course, I'm talking about the modification we did to our Joel Salatin style Rabbit tractor. If you've been following us for a while, you probably know that we are raising our rabbits in a colony and at approximately the eight week, nine, 10 week mark or so, we moved the kids out of the colony, out of the rabbit hutch and put them into mobile rabbit tractors that we can pull across the lawn, basically where the rabbits can mow the grass, fertilize the lawn and not take up any more space in the colony, right? We really like the idea of the Joel Salatin type or style rabbit tractor. You know, it, it's a very lightweight enclosure. It's very inexpensive to build. You can pull it easily, at least an adult can, maybe, you know, kids can as well. And, you know, it's very straightforward. Now, I read Salatin's book and I know that he first used chicken wire on the bottom of the rabbit tractor. But he realized that rabbits don't really like chewing into the, the metal because it would discourage them from eating the grass, right? So his feed cost would go up because he would still feed them pellets like we do as well. So what he did is he replaced the chicken wire with wooden slates. I think he uses white oak, which is fairly rot resistant and non-toxic and so he didn't have to stain it. And so he would have a certain distance between the slates to make sure that the rabbits had, I think from the entire area underneath the rabbit tractor that had 70% available where grass could go through, where pasture could come through and, you know, rabbits could eat. So only 30% would be occupied by the actual wooden slates. And we did that for both of our rabbit tractors. But what we realized is a couple of things. First of all, even if you cut those slates relatively thin, the rabbits would still have an uneven surface, you know. And I know from Europe, they actually went away with those slated approach to barns and stuff. I mean, it makes manure management easy because the poop would fall through, you know, to the ground, obviously, but it's not very comfortable for the animals. And the same goes for the rabbits, just, you know, watching them and observing them. I've noticed that, you know, they would sometimes not have their entire paw on the slate and it would like, you know, tip over and it, it just seemed very uncomfortable for the rabbits. And additionally, you know, when you move them, uh, the tractor, you know, they sometimes would get caught and squeak, you know, because obviously, you know, you would pinch their, their leg or their paw. And so we always had to be very careful when we move the tractor, you know, from, from, from spot to spot. You know, we would move them every day. And so I'm like, well, you know, the wooden slates are not really that great after all. There's got to be something better. And so we actually tried, not with chicken wire, but with, you know, a wider mesh wire that we also use as a, uh, as a predator apron around the chicken coop. You know, we figured maybe that's better because the, the grid would be close to the ground, it would, you know, reduce the risk of pinching your paws, and it would give them even more area to eat without, with re while reducing the risk of them chewing on the wire, because the wire, you know, it, it was like a two by three or so grid, so it was fairly wide. But we realized pulling that across the lawn is not going to cut. It's even more difficult. There is more friction, literally, so it makes the pulling much harder, and it's still, there is still a risk of the rabbit's, you know, paws getting pinched. You know, and so I'm like, okay, this is not going to work either. So what can we do? We need some sort of bottom because otherwise they can just dig out, right? Then I, I realized or I remembered, I saw a video many, many months ago. I don't remember from who. And they had an approach where they simply cut out most of, most of the wiring or most of the wooden slates and just left some at the edge to basically have like a, maybe a 10 inch or so frame on the bottom that would make it less likely for them to dig out because they don't not only have to dig down, but they also have to dig a certain horizontal distance before they could get out. So what I've done is I removed all of the wire, except for a, maybe a 10 inch or so apron, if you will, put some, added some extra slates for stability where I could nail the, the wire against. So it wouldn't, you know, there, there would be no wire that the, the rabbits could get caught up on when I moved the tractor. And the rest was completely open. There was no more flooring, you know? And so we're like, well, let's see if that works and if they dig out. And we've been using this now for a while. And I have to say, it has changed a lot. First of all, we've noticed the rabbits would con would eat con significantly more of our lawn and pasture and the greens. You can really see the difference between where they were and the lawn ahead of them. And not only because it's trampled down, but it's really mowed, you know? They, they consume whatever they can get much more so than with the wooden slates. Moving it is significantly easier because there is virtually no risk of them getting pinched, especially if they stay somewhere towards the center, you know, and and they have not dug out. 
I've seen them, you know, occasionally they dig a little bit, you know, I've, I've noticed they, they like to dig holes and then pee into it. So that's what they do. So occasionally you have like a little, you know, hole, not really a hole, but like an indentation on the, on the lawn, but nothing major, nothing that would come even close to them, you know, getting out. Predators don't appear to be getting in either. And, and you know, the thing is, even if, if there's a raccoon or something, they're probably not going to dig the entire hole in one night. And since we move them every day, the risk of something getting in or the rabbits getting out is relatively low and it's been working for us beautifully. So we are now in the process of converting all of our rabbit tractors to that new approach by cutting out the wooden slates and installing maybe an apron of mesh wire or just even without the mesh wire. In, in fact, I think the only reason why I left that apron of, of mesh wire is because I already had all the wire on there. But I think going forward, I'm just gonna screw in some wooden planks that create a 10 inch gap on each side, like a perimeter kind of thing that makes it more difficult for them uh, to easily dig out. Obviously, if it's only a, you know, a two by two or whatever, they can easily dig through that. But if it's 10 inches wide, then they have to dig not only 10 inches horizontally, but also down enough far to get out. And so it's been working great for us. We'll keep doing that. And if you're using rabbit tractors, especially the Joel Salatin style, I consider or I would encourage you to consider removing, you know, some of the, the slates. I think it's going to be more comfortable for your rabbits. They're going to be happier and they might even eat more. Like in our case, you can see a significant difference between the before and after and we love it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, stick around and I hope we'll see you in the next one.